it's naturally for any any young player, anybody. You know, you want to be able to get better in every single thing that you do. And I see Tim doing that. Tony. You mentioned, you know, yourself, Byron, DJ. You, you guys are all have, have starting experience. And then you've got guys like LeBron as well. Just and, and Fidarian Mathis as well. Just what is the leadership like in that unit? And, you know, how, how does everyone kind of contribute a, as a leader? I feel like everybody contributes as a leader is holding everybody accountable. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. If you aren't on, if you aren't picking up your, um, if you ain't picking up on what you need to do, I feel like we all can hold each other accountable to get each other pushing, to get through whatever we got to get through and to get to the point where we need to be. And that's becoming a better defensive line. Charlie? Even on that leadership theme, just where have you seen the leadership kind of progress on the defensive side as a whole? Because, you know, last year, all the captains were on offense. Just how have you guys maybe tried to take that next step as leaders as a whole defense? I think taking the next step is understand that you're supposed to do your 1-11. Don't matter who you are, you do your 1-11 to the best of your ability and have faith in what you're doing and knowing that the guy beside you is going to do their best, their ability. I feel like the same thing I said, holding each other accountable, understand that you do your one level, we're going to be pretty good. Final questions for Justin. Okay, thank you, Justin. Slate is on deck. It'll be just a moment. All right, we'll go ahead and take our first question for Slade. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? With Michael. Go ahead, Michael. Uh, yeah, hey, Slade. Uh, with chemistry, it's a big talk about with the, a quarterback and, and receiver. What's the chemistry like with with uh, Bryce? You know, I think we're uh, improving on chemistry. I think chemistry takes time with anything. And you're starting to see it throughout practice, throughout the scrimmages that we're starting to get dialed into that chemistry. And I think it's only going to improve as we continue to practice and continue to scrimmage throughout fall camp. Charlie. Slade, uh, obviously you guys are coming off that first scrimmage. Just what do you see from the offense and especially the, the receiving core as a whole? Uh, you know, there's, I think mean, there's always things that we're going to need to improve on as a unit, um, but there was some improvement. I think the biggest thing was, uh, you know, just mentally tested, like just, you know, it's a hot day, just, you know, pushing through a hard, hot, uh, hot scrimmage. I think that is the biggest thing that we learned and developed during that uh, scrimmage. And, you know, just mentally preparing for the, uh, for the season. And, but there was, there was definitely some improvements. There's still some things we need to work on, but I think, we got, you know, mentally tested, and that's the biggest thing, and I think that's what we need. Nick Kelly. Hey, Slade, uh, from year one to year two, what are the biggest changes you've seen from Bryce? Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely matured some. Obviously, he's been, you know, being a freshman, you know, uh, trying to learn the, the process of not only the offense, but also uh, Coach Saban and the, the whole, just the program in, in general. Uh, he's becoming a better leader, I, I, I think, and uh, just trying to connect and, you know, build a chemistry with the receivers and also the O-line and the running backs and tight ends. Just like what we talked about, I talked about earlier, you know, just those things, you know, it takes time to grow, grow in. And I feel like 
from the, you know, since freshman year, he's done a lot better job with maturity, uh, being a better leader, and also chemistry with offense. Steven. Slade, what, how have you seen uh, Jamison Williams fit into the offense coming over from Ohio State? Uh, you know, he's a great addition to the off, uh, you know, our, our receiver crew. Uh, you know, he proved himself at Ohio State to be a good player, and we're we're excited and happy to have him, you know, contribute and be a new addition to our receiving crew. Cecil. Hey, Slade, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. I have a, first of all, it's a two-part question. And first, you can help uh, clear up a little confusion. You can, Against Louisville, your freshman year, you got hurt in the first game, right? You played a little against Louisville and then didn't play anymore? Oh, I, no, sir. I, I was never, never injured. Okay. I, I just, just redshirted that season. Redshirted. Yes. So, and then you get a, 2020 year so are you a fourth year sophomore or what exactly are you classification are, are you a senior are you a fourth I'm a year? Uh, I'm a red shirt junior and this will be my fourth season okay so and last year you were on most of the, several of the special teams return units um, do you like that and, and how do you um, fit in this year with that? Yes, I enjoy uh, I enjoy returning the ball. I also enjoy playing special teams. I enjoy anything that helps and benefits our team and whatever Coach Saban wants me to do, I'm willing to do. And that's kind of been my role for a while. And so I enjoy returning the ball and whatever helps me uh, build my brand as a skilled player, I'm willing to do. Tony. Hey, Slade, uh, just touching back on Jamison Williams. Uh, when you're on the field with him, just given his speed, how easy does he make things and how much does he open up the, the offense just by taking, you know, with the defense having to account for his speed? You know, obviously, you know, Jameson's a fast guy. Uh, we have a lot of fast guys. Um, you know, he's you know, got some experience playing at Ohio State. So bringing a little experience from that, you know, he, he opens it up just like we just like with Mechie and other players. We we have our own ways and skills of how we run routes, catch balls, get open, finish plays. You know, and everybody brings a different attribute to the tr table. And he's just, you know, another guy that brings certain attributes that help us as an offense. And so it's, it's basically like that every day. Mike? Yes, Lady mentioned building your brand. I think we all saw the video of uh, the Bojangles sandwich a couple of weeks ago. Just how does something like that come together? Do they give you a phone call? Like, how, how does that work? Oh. Well, you know, they reach out to you. Once you do that, you uh, make sure everything is uh, settled with compliance, make sure everything is uh, straight and legal, and, you know, just basically wanted to try out their new chicken sandwich, and it was really good. <laughs> First time having it, so I was able to uh, do that deal, and I was excited for it. So that's basically how it works. Charlie? It's like going back to the return game a little bit, um, you know, Coach Saban mentioned you and a couple of freshmen as guys that have been returning punts. I guess kind of a two-parter, just what have you seen from JoJo and Ja'Cory? And then on the flip side of that, what have you seen from the punters that are getting you guys the football? Uh, with the with the freshman guys that you talked about, the freshman receivers, I, really all of them have uh, stepped in and really, you know, done a good job of learning and, uh, working hard and you know they know it's tough you know it's different from what they're used to you know coming out of high school so they're learning that to play tough to play fast play physical play with effort and they're doing a good job of playing that way and you know with returning it's uh it's always good to have you know other options in the return game and at receiver you know you never know uh when someone's needed and um the, with the punters, uh, I feel like everyone's doing a great job. I haven't really seen um, <clears throat> anyone not doing the job that they need to do. I've, you know, being back, back there catching balls, I've, there's been times where I've had, you know, had to catch some, some deep punts from all of them. So I feel like they're all doing a great job and I think they're still continuing to get better. Tony. Hey, Slade. During the video portion that they sent us of scrimmage, we saw a really like highlight catch from Javon Baker. Were you on the field for that? And 
Can you give us some insight on what, what went on during that play? I uh, was not. I was actually not on the field for that. I wasn't able to uh, get the call and see what the play was. But you know, obviously, Bake made a great play. Uh, he he has great hands, and you know, he always uh, goes up for contested ball. So I was uh, happy that he was able to make that play. Final questions for Slade. Okay, thank you, Slade. Thank y'all. You have a blessed one.